All right, Algebra 1A students. Welcome to part one of your video on uh, lesson 6.3, which uh, we're going to be calling Solving Systems of Equations with Elimination, because in this video, we're going to learn a new way to solve systems of equations. For the past few days, we've been solving systems of equations um, either by graphing them on a coordinate grid or mostly by substitution where we replace something with something else and then solve. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is called the elimination method which is one that in certain situations is significantly easier to deal with than the substitution method and we'll talk um, in later videos about when it's easier to do which one. Um, for today, we're just going to look at the easiest, uh, most basic type of problem that we should solve using the elimination method. For example, this system of equations right here. 2x plus 5y equals 17 and 6x minus 5y equals negative 9. What, is it, what it is important to notice about these systems of equations, uh, or sorry, these two linear equations in my system, is that the y variable has the same coefficient in both equations. Both of these numbers are a 5 in front of the y. It's in those situations that the elimination method is uh, my preferred method and should be yours as well. Uh, we should be trying to use the elimination method when the coefficient, meaning the number in front of one of the variables, is exactly the same in both equations. All right. Now, if those two numbers have the same sign, we're going to subtract the two equations. Okay. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So same sign means subtract. There's a lot of S's. You should be able to remember that. If they have different signs, then we're going to add the two equations. Okay? And we have to keep in mind what our ultimate goal here is. Our ultimate goal is to eliminate one of the variables, which should make sense because we're using the elimination method. We're trying to eliminate one of our variables. So... If I take these two equations and they're lined up very nicely for me uh, like they are here where the x's are on top of each other, the y's are on top of each other, and then we have numbers on top of each other, uh, perfectly lined up x's, y's, and just numbers, I can add all of these pieces together and make a new equation uh, that will help me solve for one of my variables. So, uh, if I add these two equations together, 2x's plus 6x's makes 8x. That's not a very good 8, but you get the idea. Positive 5y's plus negative 5y's, 5y plus negative 5, that's 0. 0 y's. So now I have plus 0 in my y. right? But what does 0 y's really do? Nothing. It's like it's not even there. In fact, it shouldn't really even be there. 5 plus negative 5 cancels out. So all I have then is 8x, and on the other side of the equation, I have 17 plus a negative 9. 17 plus negative 9 makes 8. So my new equation, when I add my two together says 8x equals 8. And that is an equation that's very, very easy to solve for x. We should very quickly be able to find that x is equal to 1. Right? x is equal to 1 by dividing. Okay? Now, the plugging back in to find the y value is a little bit trickier here with elimination than it was for substitution. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 1 which is now what I know to be my x value, and I'm going to plug it back into one of these equations up here. Now, which one, you might ask, it really doesn't matter. really doesn't matter. I would try to focus on the one that's all the positive numbers, if it were me. 
So I would put it back up into this one up here, 2 times 1. But you can plug it into either equation that you want. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, but if I plug it into the top equation, that equation then says 2 times 1 plus 5y equals 17. Right? Because my x number is a 1 now. So I plug that back in. What is 2 times 1? Well, that's 2. 2 plus 5y equals 17. That, again, is an equation that we should all be able to solve. By undoing the plus 2, or getting rid of this positive 2 by subtracting, and then getting rid of the 5 by dividing by 5. So then I have 5y equals 17, take away 2 is 15. And then if I divide by 5 and divide by 5, 15 divided by 5 gets me y equal to 3. So now I know that x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3, so I'll write my answer as a coordinate point, 1, 3. And that would be my final answer here, 1, 3. Okay. So that's the elimination method. And like I said, when we notice that one variable has the same coefficient with different signs, one being positive, one being negative, we add the two equations together, and we get an e equation that's very, very easy to solve. The other option is we could end up with a situation like this, where I have 3x plus 8y equals 58, and 3x plus 6y equals 48. Well, now I do have the same number on one of my variables. This time it happens to be the x. But now the 3s on the, on the x's are both positive. So that means they have the same sign, right? They're both positive numbers, positive and positive. Well, if I have the same sign, what do I need to do with my two equations? Same sign, I need to subtract my two equations. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract my two equations and get a new equation um, and figure out what that says. Now, if I take three x's and I minus three x's, three take away three means all of my x's disappear which is exactly what I want to happen because, again, remember, we're trying to eliminate one of our variables. So the three x's disappear, and so I don't have any x's in my new equation that I'm about to write. And next I'm going to do 8y minus 6y. 8y minus 6y. Well, that leaves me with 2y. Right, 2y. And on the other side of my equal sign now, I have 58 take away 48. 58 take away 48 gives me 10. So my new equation says this, 2y equals 10. And that's an equation that's very easy to solve. I just divide by 2 on both sides. Divide by 2, divide by 2. And I get that y is equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5. Right? So my y is equal to 5. If I plug that back into one of my uh, two equations, I have to kind of go back and remember that I did have three x's here that I need to keep around. Um, if I plug that back into one of my equations, let's say I plug it into the top equation, uh, that equation now would say 3x plus 8 times 5, because that's what my y number is, is equal to 58. Well, 8 times 5 is 40. So this is really 40, right, plus 40. So my equation says 3x plus 40 equals 58. And if I get rid of the 40 here and try to get the x all by itself by minusing 40 on both sides, I end up with 18 is equal to 40 is gone and I just have 3x. Well, then I can divide by 3, divide by 3, and I get x is equal to 6. x is equal to 6. So then as a coordinate point, of course, my solution would be 6 for my x, which comes first, comma 5 in the y. 
So this elimination method is much uh, simpler than the substitution method when I have the same number in front of one of my variables. Otherwise, I'd be have to move things away and divide and make very complicated looking uh, equations. So when you see the same number in front of a variable, remember you're either going to add or subtract your whole equations, every single part, in order to eliminate one of your variables and solve. If you have questions at all about the elimination method, please make a note to ask me in class tomorrow. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful night.